Welcome back, my fellow champion. Today, I want to talk to you about your journey of self-discovery and unleashing the power within you. And it's not just about you. There are people that are counting on you to show up and to win. That's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to share some tips and some things that I've been learning about my journey that have helped me to push through when I felt like quitting. So I'm going to tell you this right off the top. This may be a little bit emotional for you and it may be a little bit emotional for me, but it's necessary because this is what we need to do if we want to create a life that we dream of. So I want to share some tips with you. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is you have to unleash your inner champion. So you have a champion inside of you. You have greatness within you. You have a special gift or talent. You have so much more potential. And when you're stuck and when you're not where you want to be, sometimes you forget about that. And sometimes you, you beat yourself up over not being further ahead in your life. So I want you to understand this first. You have a champion inside of you. And your first responsibility should be to you. You have to make this choice and this decision that you want to unlock this inner champion, that you want to create a better life for yourself and for the people who are counting on you. And I think sometimes when we're trying to figure things out and we're struggling, we think, you know, it's just about us or we think that we're the only ones that are going through a difficult time. And we just kind of stay with where we are. We stay in place. But you have to understand, you deserve more in your life. You have to know this. You have to know that there is more available to you. And when you make the decision to explore what's available to you, you're not giving up on yourself. And for many of us, we give up on ourselves. We give up on our hopes and our dreams. And the thing is, like unleashing your inner champion is just not about your personal power. It's not about your personal endeavor. It's a responsibility that you have to those who have supported you. Please understand that unleashing your inner champion isn't just about you. It's about you being a leader. It's about you being that guide for other people who are counting on you to win. So keep fighting to unleash that inner champion because you're going to inspire so many other people to do the same. The second thing I want to talk to you about is that your impact goes beyond yourself. So your journey is not just about you. There are people who are watching you and they need to see you show up every single day. You're impacting your family, you're impacting your friends, your kids, your parents, your grandparents, your followers. People that you don't even know who are watching you. They need to see you show up every single day and they need to see you win. See, sometimes when you're on this journey, you think that it's just about you. You think nobody is watching me. Nobody cares. I'm struggling in my business. No one's paying attention. I'm struggling in my personal life. No one really is, cares about it. But you're wrong. You are inspiring people just by showing up every day, by pushing through those difficult times, by finding a way to make it through adversity, to bounce back from a setback. People are watching you. People are seeing the fact that you have a goal or you have a dream or you have a, a reason to wake up and show up every day and you're doing it. And I know that's difficult when you're not where you want to be. I know it's difficult when you look at other people and they seem so much further ahead than you but people are counting on you. They need to see you show up every day. They need to see you get those wins in your life and in your business, in your career, in your health and wellness, in your relationships, with your goals, because you inspire them. See, there's people in your family, people who follow you, your friends, who need that encouragement. They need to see you show up every day. They need to see you putting in the work every day. They need to see you bouncing back from a setback because it inspires them. It inspires them to get started. It inspires them to keep going when they feel like quitting. It inspires them to take massive action on their goals and their dreams and shift their life. Now, you might not know this, but there are people who are watching. There are people who you inspire just by showing up. You are impacting other people's lives. 
every time you post something, every time you share a story, every time you have a conversation, every time you're vulnerable and you talk about the challenges that you're going through, but you keep going, you are inspiring people. Don't forget that. So people are counting on you. They need to see you win. And your impact is not just about you. It's about other people. You are impacting the lives of other people. Your story matters, your journey matter, your setback matters, your bounce back matters, the fact that you show up every day matters, the fact that people are counting on you and you are there for them matters. So don't think that none of this matters because you're not at the level that you want to be at. You matter. You deserve more in your life. You deserve to have everything that you want. And that's why you got to keep going because people are counting on you to show up and to win. So don't quit. Keep going. You have it inside of you. You have a champion inside of you. The third thing that I want to share with you is this. There's this ripple effect. You have a ripple effect. See, it's like throwing a stone in a pond and it just ripples and ripples and ripples and that stone and that little ripple effect, you don't know, that could create a current. That could create a massive impact around the world. And just like you, planting those seeds, throwing that stone, you don't know what that ripple effect is going to be. That ripple effect could be on your family and your friends. You could inspire your parents to do something or your siblings or your children. You could inspire your friends. You can positively impact the people that are following you. See, the fact that you show up every day and you don't quit, you're creating this ripple effect in the world. See, people need what you have. They need that inspiration. They need that guidance. And by you embracing your potential, you're, you're a catalyst for change in other people's lives. You don't know that, but you are a catalyst for change in other people's lives. So how do you envision success for yourself? How do you share what you're learning? How do you share your setbacks? How do you share how you make it through challenging situations? It's that ripple effect that you have to understand that you have. And every time you wake up, every time you decide that I want more and I'm going to continue to fight for what I want, because I know that people are counting on me. I know that I'm building a legacy right now. See, that ripple effect that you have is going to be your legacy. How are you going to be remembered when your time is up? What are people going to say about you? What is that inspiration and those lessons that you've left with people? That's what your legacy is going to be about. People are going to say that you continue to show up. You continued to fight. You found a way to make it through challenging times. You got to keep going because this is your legacy. This is what you're leaving to the world. The way that you show up, the way you share your messages, your setbacks, your bounce backs, your stories, that is going to inspire so many other people not just in this generation, but in generations to come. You are building your legacy right now. So you have to decide what do you want that legacy to be? How do you want to be remembered? What is that ripple effect that you're putting out into the world? You have to think about these things. So every time you feel like quitting, every time you feel like I'm not enough, every time you feel like nobody cares, you have to know that every time you make a, a, a post, every time you speak to a friend or a family member or your kids, you are planting a seed. You are throwing that stone into the water and it has a ripple effect. Don't quit. Don't quit. The fourth thing I want to share with you is this. There's an emotional connection, right? And now we're going to really go deep with this a little bit. But I want you to make this emotional connection with the people who are counting on you. So let's do this together, okay? I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about the connections that you have. Think about the people that you love and who love you. 
with your eyes closed, I want you to think about you having fun with them, you hugging them and kissing them and holding them, and them looking to you for guidance and them asking you questions and coming to you for advice. And I want you to have that feeling inside of you where you just feel this love and this inspiration and you just want to wrap your arms around them and you want to see them win. Now I want you to open your eyes. What did that feel like? What was that emotion that was going through you? As you were doing that, like what were you experiencing? And I want you to hold on to that emotion. See, we have to know our why. We got to make that emotional connection to our why. Our why is the reason that we wake up every day. Our why is the reason that we choose not to quit on our goals and our dreams. Our why is why we want to create a better life and who we are doing it for. We have to make that emotional connection to our why. Who are the people that are counting on you? Make that emotional connection. I want you to think about how much you love them and how much they love you. I want you to think about why you want to create a better life for yourself so that you can help them create a better life, life lives for themselves. We need to experience that emotional connection and we need to build on that so we can thrive, so we can continue to push forward. And I don't know about you, but You know, I think about the people that are counting on me, my family, my friends. You know, I think about my grandmother. (laughs) My grandmother was this little tiny Jamaican lady who um, she just was feisty, right? She, She always had this fighting spirit. And anytime she saw some type of injustice, she would always step up and, and stand up for what was right. And my grandmother used to say to me, look, you're strong enough to walk your own path. You're strong enough to walk your own path. And she passed away many years ago. And I'm getting a little bit emotional now. But, you know, my grandmother was my very first mentor. She used to pour into me from the time I was a little kid. And she would say all of these sayings to me. And anytime I would try something and I failed, she'd be like, that's okay. Get back up. You got it in you. And, you know, much into my adulthood, We just were really great friends and she constantly encouraged me to keep going. Don't quit. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for your mom, your siblings. Do it for your friends. She would always say stuff like that to me. And she planted that seed that it wasn't just about me. It was about me and the people who are counting on me. And I've always held on to that and I always realized that My journey wasn't just and isn't just about me, that there are people who need to see me win. And I just get emotional because I hold on to that emotional connection that I have to my why. And I hold on to that emotional connection to my who is counting on me. And those times that I just get down on myself and I say, hey, you should be further ahead in your business or with the impact that you're making or, you know, you should be reaching more people. I hold on to that emotional connection and I say, look, there are people who are counting on me. I need to win so that they can win. And that's what you need to do. You need to hold on to that why and you need to hold on to that determination and that love that you have for yourself and that love that you have for other people around you who believe in you, who support you, who hold you accountable. That's what you need to hold on to. Hold on to that emotional connection of who is counting on you. Tip number five. Now, this sounds obvious and you may have heard this before, but it is so true. It's helped me so much in my life. It's helped so many of my coaching clients. It's all about words of affirmation. You need words of affirmation like you need to understand that words are powerful. And what you say to yourself becomes your reality. So if you say, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'll never figure this out, I don't deserve that, you're not going to get that because that's what you believe. You're going to believe the words that you're saying. Now, if you believe that you have a champion inside of you and you say, I'm resilient, I'm resourceful, I'm creative, I can figure this out, I'm smart, I'm worthy, I am a successful business owner, 
that will become your reality because you're going to start to put actions and intentions behind that. So you have to understand that words have power and you have to dive deep into yourself and really start to be gentler and kinder and more affirmative with yourself. And this is something that I've had to learn because I used to be really hard on myself. I used to be so harsh on myself. I used to say a lot of, you know, negative things to myself and that kept me down. And I, it took me a long time to understand that words have power. And even when I didn't believe these powerful words that I started saying to myself, I, do, I would just say them anyway. You are a champion. You have so much more potential. You are an amazing person. You're a giver. You are a champion business owner. I would say all these things even when I didn't believe them. And what happened is I started repeating these things every single day and I found myself taking action towards getting what I wanted. I found myself bouncing back quicker from a setback. I found myself not quitting as much. All because I started saying these powerful affirmations to myself. And so these are building blocks to success. Affirmations help you to build what it is that you want to create what it is that you want. And when you dive into the meaning behind the words and you really start to embrace them and feel them, that's when your life is going to change. That's when you're going to start to win more than you've ever won in your life. So don't quit. Start with these affirmations. Just look in the mirror every single day and just say, I am. I am amazing. I am powerful. I am a champion business owner. I am impactful. You know, say these things to yourself every single day and see how your energy and your intention and your actions start to replicate what it is that you're saying about yourself. We have to understand that words have power. Look, champions, I, I, I can talk about you. Look, champions, I, I just want to see you win. I want to see you win. I don't want to see you give up. I don't want to see you quit on your goals and dreams. You have to remember that there are people that are counting on you. They need you to win. They're, they're inspired by you taking action. When you encourage them and you lead by action and you lead by example, you don't know what that means to other people. So don't quit on yourself. Don't give up. Keep striving for greatness. You got this. You have a champion inside of you. And if you love this video, please make sure that you leave a comment and subscribe for more great content like this. And if you love this, you're definitely going to love this next video. Check this one out right here.